Well, hello. I'm starting a little early, but here we are. My name is Anjalia. Kate Loy, your favorite cosmic shaman. And we're going to be bringing you the Christ Gateway activation with the Christ Emissaries and the Divine Mothers. And I just wanted to show you this beautiful crystal because we're working also with the cosmic egg and we're going to be working with a toroidal. The cosmic egg is a toroidal. I don't know if you can see this design, a toroidal field. I love to show an example of what these things look like. Um, because once I'm in the deeper channel, it's extremely high level frequency that I'm channeling from the masters and it's wisdom from inside the cells and inside your knowingness. It's less in the mind. So it's always fun to kind of bring it into the mind or your personality because that's where we live in our daily lives until we become multidimensional and expanded and um, fifth dimension or higher because really um, this is an amazing time period, right? And so I'm a gatekeeper, a seer, and I always feel like my greatest joy is to um, open these gateways for us, right? This ascension is, is very challenging and we're moving not only inside but outside and it's also inside Mother Gaia, Mother Earth and outside Mother Earth. And um, there's so many exciting things that are really actually happening in our ascension plan that it's I feel it's important for you guys to remember and to be encouraged because the life that we're living in this density is beginning to dissolve and beginning to fall apart and change is always frightening but we don't really need to cling to the frightening parts any longer which is a great challenge for all of us right because those fears well really i guess the good way to explain it is we've been previously living our lives from our fears from our core issues of separation right we've been separated from source we've been separated from the mother in fact the, the principal cosmic mother of the universal mothers we've been separated for over five six thousand years and we have not been receiving um an essential <laughs> quotient which is that nurturance that the mother brings to us and so a lot of the important work is to return to the sense of the Divine Mother bringing us what we need. Um, it's like Isis feeding her baby. You've seen these statues with these goddesses. That's the principle of the Divine Feminine who is now with us here. And as part of my work is to help bring forward that sense of um, being listened to and heard. I call my work soul listening and next level oct octave because we really have felt not heard, not listened to, and that separation with who we are is part of the Christ realization. And the word Christ doesn't mean Jesus Christ, but he carried the message of the Christ. And the Christ is your, your initiation of who you are, your, your signature, your spark. And I often speak of the, the, your divine spark as part of your whole, um, process of this birthing and rebirthing and resurrection and your cosmic egg um, creating the world you want to live and something that's very very valuable to be aware of in your mind <clears throat> as we work together in this these journeys these these awakening ascension journeys gatekeeping ones and other ones I do are all an experiential transformation from inside of your cells because it's it's working with your consciousness, shifting the dark to the light within you and re remembering that sense of who you are in your completion. And that's what um, the Adam Cadman is that I'll probably speak of when I'm channeling and I spoke of in the write-ups. The Adam Cadman is, it's like your original blueprint that you came in with and without any distortion. And so it's actually, we're almost like working with 
who you truly are in your your spark, your flame, your divinity, right? And then all the things that you're not, we pull off in these webinars, teachings, private sessions that I do. It's, it's so shamanic, it's so um, profound and vast, but yet kind of simple in a way because they're very primordial terms, like pulling off that which you're not using any longer, you don't need. Um, and for, for many reasons, we've thought we needed fear that we've that kept us safe but in actuality it keeps us limited imprisoned and um creating from our belief system a world that's not the one we want to live in so an enormous responsibility but that's so exciting and challenging because we're working with creation and creation is change um is how you're creating your life right with your mind, with your beliefs, and beginning to see it from a more cosmic level that the truth of you is yet to be created, right? So what do you want to create? And bringing yourself into this understanding that the universal consciousness that is like, say, God, creator, wants the best for us, is here to bring us to our very best and to come from that parameter and then receive it into your being and begin to listen in the heart realm, the heart temple, the heart chakra, um, and listen to your knowingness and listen to your sense of resonance. The word resonance is extremely important for our future as we are going to be changing everything about the way we live and the way we see things and the way we feel and it is going to take a conscious desire to create a world that you want to live in and that you want to bring into this world for the children of this world and what that feels like and looks like and we're all star beings that have come here to help create this new earth and within our DNA and our blueprints, we have what it is that we came here, a certain unique quality that you have within you. We, we're, we came here to bring this to the earth, like many puzzle pieces, like a beautiful quilt. And often I, I see and I channel about Gaia's garden, which to me is this exquisite, almost like a patchwork quilt of all the exchanges of the beauty of the different human qualities of the humanity, the different types of humanity that are here on the earth, the different qualities of all the sentient beings, the animals, the elements, the nature, the plants, the trees, the tree beings, the water speaking to us, the weather, the fire, the ether, and the earth raising her frequency and my sense is that Earth raising her frequency into this um, cosmic being that she is on manifest in this dimension is our greatest boost to what our greatest boon to what we're going to be doing. And I'm going to be doing cosmic energy boosts for everybody to just kind of little quick things on YouTube to help us do exactly what I'm saying Gaia is doing. So Gaia is in on this plan with us. <laughs> <laughs> and so working in nature, being in nature, and keeping your frequency in this higher hertz, this higher kind of um, resonance, Schumann resonance it's called, but really it's, it's, for me it's called heaven on earth resonance. That's where I'm looking and when I travel to other places, I'm looking to almost like download heaven on earth resonance so I can transmit it to you. So in this eclipse season, eclipse season is always really challenging. And what it does is it's like pushing you. All the, the different um, astrologies are pushing us along our ascension path. So it, it's something that we can have confidence in, even though it's challenging. You can just realize, well, this, is, this eclipse is bringing up some of my deepest, darkest fears or my 
worse problems or, you know, the technology things that like my, my microphone and my amplifier wouldn't work today. <laughs> so those things that are coming up, they're, they're being presented to, to task you, to challenge you. So our job is taking it in a, in a new way that's not in frustration or not in disharmony, but bringing it in this challenge of harmony, they're telling me right now, that we're looking to everything that's out of harmony and calling it to bring it into a place, I'm starting to burp, which is part of my transmuting ish, you know, work for you. <laughs> and we are working through these things, especially in the, like the thymus chakra and the heart chakra, so that they translate in your life with more ease, more joy and bringing gratefulness in is, is, is a massive importance. So who and how you lead your life is, is becoming a principal attention. And it's a challenge because all the media around is extremely negative and there seems like there's a lot of darkness and evil around. But our job is, is to really be the, be the ones that are here to carry forward the momentum of this awakening process we're in, the golden age of Aquarius. And this is a promise. I can hear, they're telling me right now to say this is a promise. This is not just a idle thought because you can feel it inside yourself, just like I can, that we're meant to be here to change this world. And it's challenging, yes, but we've, we've chosen. All of you New Earth tribe that are here, we're creating our group consciousness together in our journey that we're going to begin in a minute. I always think I don't have much to say and then things happen and then they start speaking through me to you. And um, so the, the, the resurrection is this quality that is birthing this cosmic egg of your original blueprint and the resurrection of this blissful, joyful life that's here on this incredible earth. And it's going to take all of us together with Mother Earth and to open our hearts to receive that which is already here for us. It's this kind of like crazy thing that we're, we're in fl the fluctuation they're showing me of of like two worlds, the old earth and the new earth. And it's, there's like, they're, they're cycling, they're showing me. And what we need to do is like determine, I'm, I'm moving into the, the new earth. I'm moving into the fifth dimension. I'm moving into the place where things are working for me and exactly in, a, in attunement to me. So that's part of our work together. And we'll be going on this journey that will help us with the, all the different Christ emissaries who are going to come. And let's see who that is. I feel like I want to get a lot of a, our journey together. And something I always um, recommend is to drink some water and to use an essential oil. And I'm just going to say that... We're, we're through this whole eclipse season is going into this upcoming Scorpio total lunar eclipse. And that will be in May. And that's going to work with the Phoenix, which, which is, I, I love the Phoenix. The Phoenix work to me is like really maxing out <laughs> our ascension plan. So I just used Envision. And I also have Valor essential oils by Young Living. And we really need valor in a way because we're moving through all the places that we have previously thought are our truth. Those dark places, right? Those separation and those, the fear levels. But our work is to 
not to subscribe, you know, delete, 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 clean house. Here we are in spring. And in so many ways, this is all what spring is about, is readying your entire new year and including your body. I'm about to start a raw juice fast tomorrow. And um, our body is such a representative of everything that we're in, embodying. So let's embody a beautiful, light-filled, cosmic body that wants to be here on earth and eat high vibrational food and carry out our missions. So here we go. So I also will be doing some light language and toning into my black drum. And um, that is such a high vibrational universal language that I don't translate it because then I bring down the frequency. But you'll notice a frequency shift as I begin receiving more deeply. So it's always good to breathe a lot into the flame that's in the center of your heart. That's your Christ that I am. I am that I am. And that Christ that I am flame is so pure and so divine that nothing has ever tarnished it ever. And it is your eternal signature. So that's where we're beginning exactly where we're going and creating this open vessel this open pillar of light and i'm going to call in a golden pyramid around our sacred session to deeply ground into mother gaia protect and honor and appreciate all that is going to happen and that is coming for us so let's take a deep breath in beloved ones Sending our heart beams out to one another and to all those that see this webinar. And it's we call to open a heart portal. A heart portal all around us. And as we open this heart portal, I always begin to see the, the masters and the magical beings who come in all around us like a sacred ancient ceremony and fire and each one of you are the Christ flame of the fire that all the emissaries are around. We call in beloved Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, the creation mothers the fae, the fairy mothers. The unicorn mothers. The rainbow creation serpent mothers. As well as Yeshua. The Christ. the king. Let us open our pillars of light to the great cosmic suns, the solar father temples above us, to the stars, to the moons, the grandmother moons, the cosmos, Rounding down through the Antakarana into each and every chakra. Beginning with the soul star, the causal star above you. Bringing that spiraling energy clockwise down through the crown chakra 
through the brow chakra. Opening the pineal gland in the center of the brain. And vibrating any carbon, any dark carbon around your pineal gland. Just vibrating and shaking it off. We're going to call in Archangel Mikiel and the Unicorn Rainbow Mother to work with any with your field and any attachments to technology or darkness that are unhealthy for you or are tying up our advancement for the entirety of humanity. Becoming a bridge, a luminous bridge, we say. Shaking off the torment, the nightmares, the sleeplessness, the anxiety. That together we begin to vibrate, to harmonize. To the point that blasts atomically negativity that is not the truth we say there is a place within humanity that has been confined and contracted For reasons that are not of the highest. Breathe into your heart and into the thymus chakra that's above your heart. There is a place of comparison. Breathe into the center of each palm. And that we are moving and pushing and moving and pushing out an old belief system of a contorted signature, a distorted signature. Then we say, this cannot be your truth. But that all lives in the harmony within it of the Christed light, of the divinity, that spark. Breathe into your solar plexus and your hara at your navel. My, my left hand is like, almost like putting, stabbing into the hara with a knife. And that's the feminine. Now it just pulled out this issue of comparison. Wow, really shifted. <clears throat> now we're moving. <clears throat> into equanimity and e equality Buh. with left, right, feminine, masculine, Buh. coming into a merging 
Like the Vesquia Pisces. The two merging spheres that create the oval vulva, the yoni in the center, Bleh. that allows for birth of something new and unexpected. Bleh. Bleh. That's right, the throat. Bleh. So there's a particular belief within each of you of this comparison and it's created intense difficulty of struggle, strife and indecision and fear of not fitting in or being different. And the Christ Masters are here to remind you that you are a unique and individual gift that came here as a star being to merge and marry and place upon the earth Bleh. these gifts that you bring. Bleh. And they say, isn't this not your truth? Bleh. Does this not feel Bleh. of the proper teaching, the right-mindedness, that why not? Why else would you make this journey? This feels like Huna energy from Hawaii. Do e mahai do mehe ayoma. It's very Lemurian and very, it's again in the, the sacrum and the, they say it's between the sacrum and the crown chakra, the sense of the king, the crown, the king that's within. And it's, we're also working again with the throat. So there's many chakras we're moving with right now. So there's so many beliefs that have traumatized you from your soul's journey of the gifts you came here, the treasure that you are, that we're moving that density with the masters. Breathing into the throat. and into the tongue. And into the song that is yours. That you are a geometry, you are a song. You are a sound. Essentially. Mm. <laughs> And they say there's a divine birth, a divine baby. Bleh. That you are in the state of becoming. Bleh. As the caterpillar. In the cocoon. Bleh. Trust the creation energies flowing through it enough to dissolve in entirety its previous body to manifest the architecture of the beloved butterfly 
that holds the wings of unity, the flight, the ability to open to an entirely new structure and to sow and to mend and to build. This predisposition of It's in its own inherent beauty. Now we are working and weaving with this inherent belief of your own inherent beauty. Breathing into your eyes, your brow, your master eye, your third eye, your pineal gland, into the visioning of your own ability to change, your own ability to transmute. Releasing separation and into this merging, this absolution of surrender that it takes to seriously resurrect that which you always are and have been and will be in an ongoing and ever eternal manner, fashion. So that the, this issue of comparison begins to slow and fall and melt away. As why would any butterfly compare itself? Why should you? Now allow yourself to embody your butterfly and see if you can feel and see and sense its color. The incredible fragility of that moment coming out of the cocoon, that push. The drying and the air of the wings and the faith that all is serenity. around you and as you begin to open your wings and spread them wide and feel this new life force feel where that life force is connected to your own source connection that the butterfly has always had and you can imbue yourself with in this embodiment process. And beginning to flutter your wings. I keep seeing a bright blue butterfly, electric blue with spots. And as you feel this feeling of fluttering and the sense of this soft attunement and empowerment, that you can move up and off the leaf that you're on and begin to elevate and fly. And from this higher position, begin to notice your perspective over the earth. The perspective of a butterfly 
moving to find the next most beautiful flower, the succulent nectar. This nurturance and food, pollinating as you go. Extremely happy and satisfied and high-minded. And just see your butterfly going now to any places in the in your world, in your family, in your community, or any world situation. That this butterfly can take you there as you and the butterfly are one and an emissary of your light and your gifts. We can take this butterfly presence that looks for the most beautiful, drinks of the most delicious, and spreads this same frequency and pollination through all the other flowers. Let us send this same pollination To all things that need this medicine, need these source codes that replenish. Into all the institutions that are breaking down and falling apart of the old earth. we as a group have the power of our collective cohesive consciousness that can emerge as group healing, mass healing, and shift the toroidal field that shape-shifting through our group consciousness, the toroidal field opens and unites all that we are here to rebirth, to resurrect, that all the previous consumption greed and overpoweringness, overpowerment can be fed and nurtured with this amrita, this nurturance, this nectar. Take a deep breath and to spread these good tidings that this is the Christed way to multiply the benefits of that which is needed like the fish to feed the masses. That we as a group collective in one bold stroke can paint to clear a blue flame of peace, of harmony. A pink flame 
of love. The golden flame that wraps around this earth. and restores the wisdom and breaks the hold of all control that does not divinely align with this Christed field of toroidal compassion. We are, you are, I am in the path of becoming. Becoming the Christed light the flame of delivery. We each come now as the Christed one that delivers our own ascension message. We each are here to clear and to claim this territory of the new earth and imbue all that we do with this restructuring, this component of compassion and begin to be view the beauty, the flame of source, connection and light, even in the most darkest places, the recesses of ourselves, the recesses of darkness in humanity, the recesses of darkness in any negative astrals, that we are all a family that each and every one is part of the other one. That this is undeniable. And even the most highest intelligences must only agree As this is the plan that was laid out in the very beginning and that this new earth and Gaia Ma would prove successful with the help of all creation, with all the creation portals, the volcanoes, the temples of creation throughout the earth, all the pyramids, the temples of the pyramids, of the Sphinx, beginning to light up along the waterways, the ley lines, the song lines. It's the dragons, the dragon lines, the lineages of the keepers of the treasure begin to awaken from our calling, our listening, and our humor 
brings the sleeping enchanted ones back into this toroidal field of the cosmic creation of the new earth. We are resurrecting. In fact, dying of the old to give way, to make peace with, to open the next doorway, the gateway. to the land of enchantment. That this new earth is here to herald with our help. We're going to sing a song to help embody this. A song of enchantment a song that will help you find your place that no one will be this place will be left uma yule uma uye wa say how are you holding this golden Christ light that has come to you how are you receiving this golden Christ light breathe allow 
A fragrance comes to you now. As a new way of becoming, a new way of honoring you, releasing all dishonor, that you are the one that holds the honor of you. Do you have this capacity to receive this badge of honor? That you are the I am. That I am. That this is the becoming of the one you came here to be. And it's simply with humility that you are this being perfect, pure, and divine, lovable, desirable, an expression. of only the most exquisite realms of divinity. So open now this resurrection portal within yourself that comes to terms with anchoring in your presence your higher self, your angelic and archangelic nature, that your entire monad, your multidimensional totem, begins to interplay into this causal field of relation, relationship, communing, play, in our striving and stretching to be multilateral, multidimensional, and an exuberant breath of the divine, a calculatable moment of pure creation. That your soul, your cosmic yearning births from your heart and sets up this new definition, this redefinition of your place upon the earth, your magnetism, your electric qualities of illumination and opening up a portal around your own home, your own territory that births the spirit of your true creation. through this temple, this pillar that you are. That you, like a candle, like an acupuncture point, are part of the grand plan. that 
you are indeed a blessing that is so needed, so cherished, so loved. And all the Holy Mothers are here now saying so to you deeply, whispering in your ear, combing and brushing your hair, stroking your back, holding you in their great arms. Allowing all forgiveness to overflow from within you as they hold you in this portal, this vortex of love. And that this full moon showers you with the rays of the solar reflection upon the moon upon the earth, upon you. That you carry this love. And it's part of your purpose, our purpose. So receive it, believe in it, trust it, use it, utilize it. It is here for you to manifest, co-create. The embryo inside your cosmic egg that is the spiritual shaman, the spiritual warrior, the New Earth tribe. That knows that love is more powerful, that this will sweep and clean and clear the earth through all the causal waterways, the portals, the portal system. through the elements it, it is indeed a revelation and how can we not be part of it all how can we not be part of the astrology part of the cosmos part of the universe It is here when we stand in this unified toroidal field of the co-creative cosmic egg that we collectively create as our consciousness. That I begin to see the Sphinx, the messenger, the rainbow unicorn mothers, the creation rainbow serpent mothers, the Buddha, Kuan Yin, rising the Shakti, the Shiva, the spirit, the soul, the kundalini, birthing out of your egg, rising up 
entwining with the masculine feminine kundalini exploding in the pineal gland like a waterfall a fountain you are this fountain that talk to Huti showed me many times I never understood It is the fountain of life that is eternal within you and is now rainbow in its expression, lit up, illuminated from within, showering down upon yourself, my goodness, ever resourcing anchored upon the earth, sitting now like a Buddha on a lotus. You are shape-shifting many lifetimes, many facial colors, many indigenous beings, many wisdom beings that you have been. that you are in the becoming of your mastery, our mastery, that this is a crowning of your own dignity and the dignity of all humanity, of this earth, of Mother Gaia, the queen, that we are her babies, her children, star beings that came here to reunite with her, to help her. As now the Mamos come of Colombia, the indigenous wisdom keepers, the earth guardians are all coming into our ceremony with gratefulness in their hearts that we are coming together and we will make a difference. We, we, we will do this thing. And it is within our capacity. And we shall share the responsibility. We are earth angels. Cosmic beings of light. In a territory as of yet unexplored, pioneers we are, shape shifters, path finders, way showers, seers of the way, repatterning this planet to the most exquisite heaven on earth planet that could possibly be created. We are, you are. In the beholding of your own rebirth, resurrection, and the consuming of that which is moving out Believing in you, believing in us, believing in this earth we are. Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be your path, your heart, your love, your light, opening to the truth of you. in this Christ Gateway activation.
Blessed be. Your life ahead, beloved ones. It is my deep honor to be here with all the great guardians in our beautiful effort. So just allow this to settle in and it moves inside you cellularly as well as through all your chakra systems and through your belief systems, creating this toroidal new earth in this, we're all becoming in this flower of life pattern. Can you see that? Where we touch and help each other. So stay tuned for cosmic energy boosts to help you along our ascension path and awakening. And this upcoming Phoenix time of the total lunar eclipse in May, the Scorpio total lunar eclipse. And I have two teachings coming up that I'll start to bring to you. Cosmic Mother Seeds of Creation that go deeply into what we just did with this reconnecting to the umbilical of the mother, with, with Mother Gaia and that connection of this nurturance. And then also the Rainbow Seeds of Creation, starting in June. And they are another six series of exactly what creation is for you. And these exact things that we're working with and moving through. And I work in creation, so it's my great gift and honor to bring these teachings that are so ephemeral and so inside outside transformational that they help you in ways that you cannot understand until your whole life begins to be created anew and it's a different you it's a different life you have different needs because you're not working out of separation or the separation core issues you're working out of like your butterfly attunement and your true birthright that is your blueprint these codes that are in your flame and they've been brought to this earth for very special reasons and it's not like the reasons we think of as jobs or employment. But it's more this journey of seeing the beauty, seeing the light in everybody and everything and helping to create it. Then we're going to have a world that matches you. Your own heaven on earth and what that looks like. Let's find out together. Anyway, I feel like we're full and we're satiated and we're ready. We're galvanized, we're strengthened, we're nourished. And we have a deep sense of being honored. So let us all put your own arms around yourself give this Egyptian hug I love to call it and if anyone needs a private session please contact me you can go to my website at www.anjalia a-n-j-a-h-l-i-a dot com or join my newsletter or YouTube and keep up with my offerings and we'll be starting a subscription level to have like a monthly upgrade energetically and channeled. Goodbye and blessings. Blessings on this time together. Blessings on your life ahead. Blessings on your butterfly and your phoenix to come. 
Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.